I am a real estate photography coach. <laughs> That sounds pretentious, but I am. So I wanted to share just a little bit with you about kind of what I do in the program with my students. I have 20, 20 students um, that I've picked up over the last three months. Been going great. So I could share like all the testimonials of the people that, you know, that I'm coaching. Maybe I'll put them on the screen right here. Some screenshots that I've uh, accumulated over the, the course of seeing my students have success, which has been really, really cool. But Every single person that I talked to has all has talked to Eli Jones and Eli Jones charges a bunch of money for his uh, coaching program. And I'm sure his students see success. No hate on Eli Jones at all. I've watched a few of his videos. Seems like a likable guy. You know, I, I think the main complaint that a lot of people have is that Eli Jones himself isn't doing the coaching. I get why he's not because he's probably got a ton of people in his program and firsthand knowledge. It, coaching can get extremely busy, extremely fast. But I wanted to give you kind of the lowdown on what makes my program different because it's not an online course. It's not, you know, I'm not going to send you a series of videos and then forget about you. It's a one on one calls. So if you signed on and this is kind of the spiel that I give all the, the, the people that I talk to on the phone is if you signed on. Our first call would be going over everything about you. So your goals, where do you want to take this real estate photography business? Where are you at right now? What gear do you have? How much money do you need to be making, you know, within three months to make this a full-time position for you? Everybody's situation is different and there are no cookie cutter spreadsheets or examples or documents that I can send people like, here's your plan. It's, it's a very flexible thing. So I, like my youngest student is 19, my oldest student is 68. So quite a broad range and there's also all kinds of different experience levels. There are people that already have real estate photography businesses and they want to earn more working with me and then there are people that have never picked up a camera before and then I teach them from scratch. My passion lies in helping people optimize their businesses. So, you know, ideally you already have the gear that you need or, or most of the gear that you need. You know how to do real estate photography. You have a good bit of, you know, example footage to, to, to show me when we go over it. So that way I can kind of see where we're at in the beginning to know where we need to go next. The, the main shebang of it is they're, they're officially speaking there. It's an eight phase coaching program. There's really no end to coaching. Like there, there can be a logical progression to, you know, end talking with me, but by nature, let's say you've never picked up a camera before and you want to create a real estate photography business, then the eight phases would be materials creation. So we look at your photos, we teach, or rather we teach you how to do photos, teach you how to do video. We look at your drone stuff, like all the services that you can provide just list by list by list by list, um, or item by item, make sure it's all up to muster and it's good enough to sell. That's where we need to get to. My whole thinking is very much on the business side of things. So how do we, I have to, I talk about this all the time in my videos. It's all well and good to, you know, spend a bunch of time coming up with a business name and, you know, looking at the different gear that you can buy and, you know, spending a bunch of time building a website, building spreadsheets, whatever in order to start. But if you're not going on shoots, then you're not making money. So everything that I, talk about with my students is like, okay, if we need to do a website, boom, let's get it done. Let's get it. I'll show you how to do it. We'll do it. Let's get it done. Or I'll do it for you. That's also an option. I'll do it for you. Let's get it done. Okay. What's your business name? It's, you know, it's not fancy, but your city plus real estate photography.com is a fantastic domain name. So you can have that be your business name. So this is kind of a, a crash course on, on the kind of initial things that I talk about because the whole idea is to get you on shoots, earning money, having clients within the first month. Obviously everybody's, you know, specific, uh, results may vary because I can't guarantee that you're going to do anything. Everything is up to you and your work ethic. I can only tell you like, Hey, you told me that you want to get to this locate like this, this destination of $4,000 a month, $5,000 a month, $10,000 a month, whatever it is. And we outlined how we need to get there. Now it's up to you to actually fulfill and do the work to get there. But I've gotten texts from my clients uh, or my, my students rather. And one of my students, he just hit, uh, when he started working with me, I think he was at like $4,000, $5,000 a month. And he, uh, I'll, I'll shoot a, a screenshot right here. He's at $10,400 a month, which is fantastic. 
another guy, you know, he quit his job within, I think it was a month and a half of working with me. And, you know, he's paying all his bills and then some. Like, the, 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 it's no small feat. Like, the people that I'm working with, they're seeing actual results, which is really, really cool. That being said, coaching isn't for everyone. You can do all of this yourself. I did all of this by myself. If I knew that real estate photography coaches existed when I started four years ago, I probably would have wanted to get a coach because the only thing that working with a coach does is bypass a lot of the pain. So YouTube is a fantastic resource to learn from, but you don't know if what you're learning is the right thing to learn based on your circumstances at any given time. So a very popular thing online is like, okay, you have to shoot flash ambient. You have to edit your own photos. Like this is the progression I went through as well. It's like, I thought I had to shoot flash ambient because that's what everybody taught on YouTube. And there is a case for flash ambient photography. I myself have to get back into doing it for the, you know these sister brokerages that I'm working with because they need color accuracy because they're you know these 24 40 million dollar homes and they're paying me $600 for just photos. So, you know, that that is a case for it. But if you're working with uh, you know, just your regular realtor clients who need it done super quickly, they want it back the next day, they just want to go live, sell this one, move on to the next one, HDR is going to be fine editing your own photos. To save money, yeah, you might feel like I, I should edit my own photos and you should have a, an all around good understanding of how every facet of your business operates. So you should know enough about editing photos so that if something happens with your editor or your client's not happy with the way they turned out, then you can plug them back into Lightroom and then merge them in Photoshop and then you know do all this stuff to get them closer to where you want to or where, how your clients want them to be. So all, all these things, and I could talk about it for a long, long time. I mean, I have calls with 20 people talking about all this stuff, answering questions. So the, the main reason to work with a coach like, you know, someone like myself is to have someone in your corner. I, I've been called a compass. So that's kind of the, the, the main purpose that I'm serving is if someone has a question, they have my cell phone number, they shoot me a text or shoot me a call. Hey, Jordan, I can't wrap my brain around this. How do I do X, Y, and Z? And then we talk about it and then we implement it. And if you have a new idea, then we talk about that. You bounce ideas off me and I tell you how it might, you know, if I've encountered that before or I give you my my thoughts on how, how that might look, if it's a good idea or not. So that's what coaching is. If you want to take this seriously and you want to get to the next level and not be alone doing it and you want to bypass a lot of the potentially painful, expensive mistakes, that's why you should work with a mentor, a coach, someone who is further along than you. And I don't think there's anything arrogant in saying that because a lot of the people that watch me are most likely newer real estate photographers. So I am ahead of you. I've been where you are. I've done all this stuff. And now I've structured my business in a way that I can do the $1,500 shoots, the $1,000 shoots, you know, landing these brokerage partnerships where they're going to pay me $1,600 you know, $1, per shoot and they pay for cloudy days and sunny days. So like $3,200 per shoot. There's more out there and you might not know how to get there. And you might learn over the course of four years by yourself. I mean, that's what I did. But why would you purposefully take the time to learn everything yourself when you could just bypass it by getting my knowledge and experience and implementing it for yourself? So it's the same case as reading books. It's like if you, you know, if you are not a reader of business books or, you know, professional development books or even personal development books, you're doing yourself a disservice because you can pick up a book for 20 bucks or you can just Google the book name file type colon PDF and chances are you'll find it to read for free and you get to read, you know, 40 years worth of somebody's life experience and take all the, 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 you know, expensive or painful mistakes that they've made so that you can put it in your own brain and be like, okay, great. Now I know what not to do, or now I know what to do. This person's really good, good at productivity. They've dedicated their whole life to teaching people how to be more productive. Maybe I could learn a thing or two from there. So there's something that is very arrogant about thinking that you can learn everything by yourself. I'm, I'm, I have not learned everything by myself. I've learned a lot by myself in the beginning. 
But then as you, you know, you identify things that are problems and identify where your shortcomings are, then you, you learn like, oh, okay, I need to read a book on this subject so I can learn more. And then you read a book or man, I don't know anything about, uh, the business side of real estate photography. Maybe I should get a coach. That would be me. So my, and I feel like this could kind of go without saying, but I'm going to say it anyways, my whole mentality, and you, you, you see these, this on my videos the whole time, my whole mentality is let's get you working. Let's get you earning money. I care about the business side of things. It's all well and good to get really good at photos, really good at video, really good at drone, all that stuff. That is important. Yes, but it's 10%. The rest is how to do public speaking, how to get really good, you know, talking on the phone, client care and retention, referral programs, review building, the, you know, market research to accurately price your services and knowing what rules to break when for specific circumstances and when to offer free shoots and when to not offer free shoots and how to go after different clients. Cause there's all, there's all these things. There's so many facets of this that it's very hard to just boil it down into like one conversation or whatever. So that's kind of what's been on my mind. I just wanted to briefly explain, maybe not briefly, I don't know how, how long is this? 12 minutes? Good Lord. I just wanted to talk to you about what the coaching entails. So I'm having to be more strict with who I bring on just for sheer uh, time because I need to make sure that I can dedicate my time to my students. So if you're interested in coaching, let me know now because the window of opportunity may close soon. <laughs> Cause I, you know, I've got this office space and I'm hiring a couple people to help me out with all the administrative stuff and helping me out. But you know, it's still going to be me on the calls. So if you want to talk to good old Jordy boy and get some help in your real estate photography business, I can help you. It's going to be you and me, baby. All right. I'll talk to you in the next one. Goodbye. Yeah.